Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So I've got some pea seedlings here that are now just getting to the size where I think I need to start giving them a trellis. They're starting to lay over. They need some kind of support to grow on. So that's what I'm gonna to do today. I'm gonna to do a real simple system. It's called a Florida weave, and it just requires some twine and two T-posts, and that's it. Uh, you could even get away with something like a stake instead of a T-post if you don't want to spend that kind of money. Uh, but I've got these, might as well use them. So I'll get to that and show you guys what I'm doing here. So as you guys can see, these are starting to get pretty long and they're falling over. What I've got here is a T-post driver and a T-post, of course. And I'm going to put one on either side and then we'll put twine in between and let them grow up through. So this one is not as big as this one. This is a snow pea, I believe. Yeah, I think this one's a snow pea, this is a sugar snap, so this must be just a smaller variety. Um, but they're not quite as large yet. These are growing a lot quicker. Let's go ahead and drive these in. So this does take a lot of effort, but... And we're upside down. Let's go ahead and start driving this in. This is the driver, and this is the post, okay? So you just put it right through that post, try to line it up, and then, and then we're just lifting and pounding. All right, there's one in. Got it pretty straight and where I want it. And that's not going anywhere. I could drive it a little bit further in, but these don't get heavy. This is not gonna knock over, it's just, it's not like big tomato plants that I need a little more depth to hold that. Um, so I think, uh, I think we're good there. Let's get the other one in. So all I'm looking to do is just get this little anchor in. And there we go. So that anchors down. We are good to go. So I'm going to put two more T-posts along this here. Do the same. So because these are not super tall yet. Let's see. They're all roughly. I think they can all reach right around there. So all I'm doing is. Right around these little things that'll hold it from sliding down. I'll just wrap around a couple times, keep from slipping, and just do two surgeon's knots. I guess uh, I think they're called half hitches too. There we go. That's all we need right there. And so we're gonna count one, two, three up from the base or from the the thing here so we'll do the same thing so here's the raised bed one two three yep there's it there it is so i do actually want to come in though on the other side like that and that'll kind of cross it All right, so I'm going to cross, then bring this over. You wanna to try to keep this as tight as possible. All right, so once that's crossed, that's okay. We're gonna be fine here. We're gonna come around once, twice. Three times. All right, give ourselves some room. And then cut off the excess. So we've got a tag end to work with and we can tie this off. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna come around and we're gonna wrap around all this to close it together. I'll pinch, hold it here. And it's hard to see because the thing's in the way. So coming. 
So what I'm doing is I'm pinching here, holding it, make sure it's tight. I'm coming around everything. And what that's going to do is going to bring that close together. All right. And then I can tie it off with a couple more half hitches. Super simple. No fanciness, guys. I'll do three. We're good. So now you might wonder what the heck is going on here. So super simple. We just... I'm just going to bring each one of these up through. And you can see how I put this on this side of where I've got these planted because that'll separate these two and give them more room. This is a larger variety. And so because it's larger, I have it on the back. So it's not going to block the sun coming in from this direction because that's the direction the sun comes. So if this was in front, those would get blocked. But luckily, all of them are getting sun. And that's kind of what you're trying to do is with this trellis, keeping them up, growing upward. All right, so there's one. There we go. Maybe a little over. Separate these two quite a bit. All right, that one's in. Now for this one. There we go. That should be good. So we're going to go one, two up. So again, wrap around three times. Once you wrap around this three times, come back around, cross the twine, do a Half hitch, half hitch. I think that's what that's called, a half hitch. I don't know my name's a knot. I just know how to time. I don't know what it's called. I just know the sound it makes when it takes a man's life. Throw that over there. So here we've got this one's right at the base, one, two. The only problem is this one's not driven in as far. That was a little lower. So it's going to be angled. A little bit. Let's see, that would be better, but it might slip down. So we'll just have to make this really tight. But I like to come in on this side. Okay, so I come in since I'm wrapping around, just makes it easier. So we will one, two, wrap around, and then three. All right, so that's all the way around with three. And that's actually, if I let go, keeps that kind of taut, even without a lot of pressure. So I can, with three wraps, I can throw that over there without worry of that coming loose if I'm doing it one person. With two people, you don't have to worry as much. But if you remember, I needed to cross this. And I forgot to. So, there we go, crossed it. Let me get back over there and make sure it's right at, crossed at the end. Now we come around this way and then we'll make three wraps around this. One, two, three. We're going to cut this off, give ourselves a lot of room. All right, and then I hold it like this, wrap around everything, and that brings everything real close together. Keep your keep taut, uh, keep it taut with your finger. Boom. And now make a couple half hitches, and that should keep it nice and tight. We'll do three half hitches. You can cut off the excess if you want. The tendrils here. We'll reach up though. We can kind of give them a little bit here. Let them maybe even put a couple tendrils up through this. Like so. And that will start to grasp. That's what these do. They're vines. They're just going to keep finding things to attach on. So we might not need to actually worry about that with any of these. 
This one being long, I wanted to make sure they were up off the ground more. So did that. Since I've got this lower, they'll find it and they'll start moving the way up. Um, probably in another week, once these grow a little taller, then I'll have to put more, um, I'll have to put more of this twine up a little higher. And there we go though. So there is the floor to weave. And that's what I'm doing with these. Let me know if you guys have any thing better that you guys like using. I mean, I think this is pretty simple. It's not hard to put up. Um, just requires a little bit of pounding into the ground. And it would be easier if you just had some larger stakes, if you just didn't want to go this route. Um, I just worry about the weight. I don't think it would be a problem with the peas. They're much lighter than like tomatoes. I know the T-posts aren't going to move though, so I use T-posts, but um, plus I get the height that I need um, for tomatoes. I don't think these are going to get all that tall. They might, but I don't, I don't think so. Probably our summer is going to wipe them out before that. Um, hopefully I get a, even a harvest before we get too hot. It has been kind of warm. If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. And I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.